welcome to another episode two of Fun, <laughs> Faith, and Friends. And believe it or not, we were asked to do another episode of this. And so I asked my very good friend, Mickey, to join us. Mickey Holtz. Hi, Mickey. Hi. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I am great. Oh, so happy to see you. Oh, you too. You too. If we can't be together, this is the next best thing, right? I know. It really is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And all our parishioners, too. We just miss them so much. I know. Oh. Hard. I bet you've been getting a lot of emails and, and messages from people. Yes, emails, Facebook messages, private messages, phone calls. And then, of course, you never get off of the phone because right. we all want to talk to each other. Right. People want to crave that yeah. human connection. Absolutely. Oh my <laughs> Somebody called me late last night from church and they were like, and we ended up talking for maybe 40 minutes and she said, oh, I'm sorry to bother you at, at night. And I'm like, oh, this is fine. This is really, no, really, <laughs> it's wonderful. Yes. Right. So it was a nice opportunity to, to connect. And thank you for agreeing to, to be part of this very fun, you know, as, as we said in that it, with Linda, this is a very serious, anxious, anxiety ridden time. Yes. Um, but we are in Easter season right now, and we just want to uh, remember that God instills joy in us as well, and to celebrate the connection that we have with one another, yes. and kind of that joy that we get from interacting with, because mm -hmm. that's not gone, right? Most definitely. Most definitely. So thank so. you. So, yes. <laughs> so, so here is how it works. Okay. Um, I'll ask you four questions that you can kind of expand upon and take as much time as you want to answer them. And then we'll go into the lightning round. And oh the boy. lightning round, I know. And the lightning <laughs> round is just fun questions, a little bit of faith sprinkled in there, but mostly fun. And you can skip over any of the questions that you have. Or, or, you know, if you can't think of anything, or if you really don't want to answer that question, that's okay. You can skip over it okay. and we'll just keep, keep going until either four minutes is up mm -hmm. or we get to the end of the um, end of the questions, but I have 20 questions. So I, I, oh, Matt, know, that's okay. like, <laughs> I prepare, I over prepare. That's the best way to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. All right, so we'll get started. All Our right. First question for okay. Mickey Holtz. Here it is. Okay. What is your official role at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton? Oh, okay. Well, my official title, mm -hmm. if they want to start there, would be Director of Youth Ministry. Nice. So I am blessed and very fortunate to get to work with all the teenagers in the parish, work with other adults and parents who love them to death and so it's with christian formation preparation with uh, confirmation preparation with outreach and service ministry with national catholic youth conference which is every other year uh, and it, people from the united states come up from all over to gather uh, to learn more about their faith and share their faith together how, how many people, I love asking this, how many people go to that? <laughs> well, anywhere between 20 and 26,000 teenagers and adults That's from amazing. around all of the United States, including Hawaii and Alaska and Puerto Rico. So it's amazing. And it's a wonderful way to express and be together with other people who share Catholic values together, which is wonderful. So again, I'm very fortunate I get to work with the adults that um the catechists and small group leaders that are sharing their faith with our parish teens we also have a lot of other teens that come that aren't from our parish that are comfortable you know they have friends there and so this is where they come socials outreach all sorts of different kind of things it varies a little bit year to year just depending on what maybe some of the needs are of the teens that are involved that year so i feel like i am involved in absolutely the very best ministry possible at our parish, which is probably why I love it. Yeah, that's that's why you do what you do, right? Exactly. Yes. Oh, well, 
and it shows in the in how many how the teens are really just excited and and everyone that you interact with you know no. you do such a nice job at like doing weaving that through the entire parish and making the whole parish aware of your ministry and 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 incorporating that into the whole yeah. fabric of our of our faith community you do just well thanks and also I'm a member of the staff so it's also we involve we're all involved in everything with the parish yeah. but the focus is youth ministry and Absolutely. then all the other things that go with it cool very okay. good all right uh how long have you been in oh, your my. ministry or okay. and how did you get started in parish work wow okay so i think i was really also very fortunate to have a grow up within a family that was very rooted in their catholic faith and parish life nice. so i went to i did go to a catholic grade school at our parish for eight years nice. and i was involved in choir because i love to sing my dad taught ccd for high school wow. um, we had a my mom taught girl scouts we had the priest that came to our camp down on the ohio river i grew up in kentucky global oh, kentucky yep. okay and so we used to have you know nobody had air conditioning way back when <laughs> and uh so we had a lot of the priests that when they just wanted to get away for the day they'd come down to our camp you know here you go up north for us we went to the river oh wow and so anyway so i got to know a lot of our priests in a very personal way they're just they were just fun wow. um and so then in high school involved in quite a few different like service president service club and all those kind of things and my parents always supported me and encouraged me but never forced anything and i liked that they didn't mm. judge so that's wow. something that i you know learned early on yeah and so anyway after getting married and doing all this and then we moved around Alan and i moved around quite a bit with our family and when we were in chicago we had two children and then had sarah while we were there and our family we didn't live close to our families and so we started some of our friends said you all be great in youth ministry and we said yeah and we said why well because you're fun you love god and you like to share your faith yeah and so that's how we actually got started as catechist and then we moved we moved to uh pennsylvania we moved to tulsa we moved all over the place and then we ended up here and uh was we were out in our catechist for high school ninth grade uh at saint mary's waukesha oh sure and the youth minister there after getting to know her a little bit just said you know you really should really look into this to be a youth minister and so, and she told me about a program. So anyway, I, this was the lady that encouraged me to go the next step. And so I did. And so I started at St. I was hired at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and believe I've, I've been there 31 years at oh St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Oh. So I have grown with the parish. The parish has grown. We've all matured and shared and loved and cried together you know so i i just feel really 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 fortunate and i know there aren't a lot of youth ministers that can say they stay at a parish you know an extended amount of time oh yeah so Great. anyway that's how i got started in all of these things so oh, wow. um i never yeah. knew that that's really <laughs> cool <laughs> oh, my i just feel really really blessed and i've been with all of the pastors yeah because yeah. Father Bernie Sipple hired me. Wow. Well, and Father Bernie I, Sipple hired me too, but not at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. <laughs> Another <laughs> parish. St. Boniface up in Germantown. Wow, that's Isn't that cool. Great. I know. We have that in common. Yeah, yeah. You know what? He has very good taste. He sure does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And I can, you know what, Mickey, when you were talking about your parents, and that kind of whole welcoming feeling and the non-pressure i so see that in your ministry no, i really thanks. see you live that out because that's you know it's just such such a a welcoming and 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 um you create kind of that zone of safety for kids oh, kids feel you. really safe to share 
you know, their faith with you. Cause that can be mm-hmm. kind of weird, you know, kids, kids mm-hmm. can be like, I don't want to talk about Jesus, you know? And so you just like make that okay. And, well, and thank and, you. Cause that's actually one of, that's one of the, uh, a mission statement that I have for myself. Oh, you have a mission statement for yourself. Yes. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I didn't know so, that either. Yeah, I I actually was uh, sponsored by the Archdiocese of Milwaukee a lot of years ago to go out to a training program for ministry. It's ecumenical, okay. and it was it's called Tent Makers. Okay. And and I would go for a week and then be home for a few weeks, and then we'd go away for a week and be back a few weeks, go away for a week. And then come back and we met in between and it was from a lot of different places and we we actually formed a mission statement for ourselves for our ministry wow. and what the words that you used fit right into what it is it's to you know for for mine in some kind of words like this i don't remember it exactly yeah. but it was you know to help create a safe environment where teens and adults alike can gather to share faith with each other learn about their faith and deepen their relationship with the Lord. Oh yeah. Oh. You know, so that's, that's in essence what my mission statement is for ministry for, you know, youth ministry and it fits most. Yeah. Um, what is one of your favorite songs about your faith? Now I know you're, you're, maybe people don't know this, but I know this, you're a, you're a singer, you're a, you're, you, you were involved (laughs) with singing. So, you know, I'm not going to ask you to sing. I didn't (laughs) didn't ask anybody, but you know, what's one of your favorite, you know, maybe in this moment or, you know, it's hard to pick one. It's really hard to pick one. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, a couple are popping in my head. Sure. So one, one just has to do with life in general. And, you know, it's a little bit more of a, a, a little bit more of a serious one, but it's here I am, Lord. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's one for me, you know, wherever you send me, I will follow. Right. And, you know, and that you called me in the night. And that happens to me a lot. I dream a lot. And so all of a sudden I wake up and I have these thoughts in my head. And it could be about ministry, it can be about all things, all sorts of things. But like ministry, I had a few nights ago. I had this thought about, and I'd seen it on something. It was about Mount Rushmore. Okay. And I'm like, and I woke up thinking about Mount Rushmore. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do something with that for within ministry for our teenagers and maybe adults if they're interested. Yeah. So you might be looking for that in the, in some of these uh, weeks ahead online. Okay. <laughs> and that's You're how parachute so prayers that. came around. You're so good at like pulling things and connecting them to faith and oh, you are so gifted at that. Well, that's thanks. Well, cool. I think that's from God. It's yeah. not me. It's God. Yeah. 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 And I guess another song would, would be, what's the name of it? It is, oh, I mean, I hear the words in the day of the Lord, the sun will rise. Yeah. And, and I will sing and praise your glory, you know. In the day of the Lord, the sun will rise or shine. Yeah, I think I think that's the name of it. I do yeah, think oh, that's it, the name of it. it could be. Yeah. But that one, those two, like, you know, so part of it is that if we answer the call of the Lord and follow in his way that he has set for us, and not that not that he's like, okay, this is what you're doing. Right. But right. you know, you know what I mean, but you listen and you know within your heart what's gonna what what your you know, you just know. And then at the same time, then it's that you'll sing and dance and praise the Lord in how you live that out. So that's sort of, you know, those two songs come to mind and there are a ton more, but oh, yeah. obviously oh, those it, came to my mind. It's hard to, it's hard to narrow it down. Isn't it? It's like, oh, now that in the day of the Lord is going to be like an ear. I know I'm going to have to look it up when we're done and, and sing it. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'll have to sit down at my piano and play it just to get it out of my head. <laughs> oh, good. So you can do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Oh man, that's a good one though. That you're right. Hey. There's there is joy in that. It's not it's it's not a silliness or a goofiness, but there's that kind of eternal joy when we are living out those gifts, mm-hmm. right? I mean, there you can't describe that in any other way. No, you really can't. Right, right. Oh, that's awesome. Um <laughs> and then how about where 
right now, um, we talked about this being, you know, a challenging time for people, mm -hmm. uh, a, a time of worry for people. Where do you find strength right now in your life? Wow. Well, like I'm working from home, just like you're working from home and a lot of us are. Right. I have to say that my home is a really good place for me to be. Mm. You know, I, I have joy and happiness here. Yeah. I have my, a contact with my family, which is really good. I have lots of things that are just sort of around in my kitchen because this is sort of my space here mm -hmm. that um, connect me to the presence of the Lord. Um, I mean, just all sorts of different things that way. So when I, like if I, when I get up from the table and I'm walking, I can see things in, I have pretty big windows on the side. So I have things that remind me, like there's like the Pope that's waving. <laughs> That was a gift from from a, a, a couple to us. When I slide, and it moves with motion with the sun. <laughs> so all of a sudden you just hear this, and it's the Pope, and he's waving at me. <laughs> and my this space for me can be a real prayer space because when I see that, I think of all the people within our church in our parish, and I can say a very quick prayer. Yeah. So for me, that is really cool. There's different things from different places, you know, that we've gone on mission trips and family-wise in El Salvador. Uh, there's also, and so I can think of that. There's a, I have to look at it. There's a, what's it say? It says, the beach is good for the soul. Well, I'm a yeah. sun person. I'm from- You are. Yeah. So for me, the sun and the beach and water, are like so life-giving to me. Nice. And people that have, the teens that have gone on confirmation retreat know that about me because it's something I talk a little bit about. But anyway, and then there's also a, a pottery container that a teenager made for me after one of the work camps. And I have a few things in it. And on the bottom of it, it has, you know, peace and joy of the Lord from the Lord and Jesus Christ and it's from Corinthians and she wrote that on the bottom of it so that's really very special there's a there's in, from Peru and Puerto Rico there's just different things and so when I walk around just in this space I, I feel love and so for me that gives me strength and a lot of this is all of God and also I have pictures moving that are of my grandkids and my family and you know, they just sort of rotate. So I, I do draw strength from that, I have to admit. And that may not have been what, but that's right now in my moment right yeah. now, that's, that's where I am with it, so. Right, right, and yeah. surrounding ourselves with things that bring us comfort and bring mm -hmm. us. All right, so now, here's uh -oh. here is so you're our- gonna, You're gonna, I can, I can answer or I can pass. You can, you can. And you can. these, this is exactly how you'll just so you'll know these are how we set up everything not everything a lot of the things with youth ministry within our small group discussion groups so this is a real important thing you know because sometimes someone's not quite ready to share yeah oh right well, yeah it's it's just meant to be kind of a silly fun thing and <laughs> and not anything even you know it's just supposed to be light cool. and joyful um, okay and then at the end of the, the only prize I have to give is that at the end of, at the end of, our, of this round, your prize is that you can ask me a question. What is your favorite time of year? Oh, summer. Okay. All right. Why? I love summer. I love, I love the sun. I love the wind. I love being outside. I, you know, I really do love it. <laughs> Name a movie that brings tears to your eyes. Oh, The Way. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a good, oh, I should watch that. That's a good one. <laughs> what is a family tradition that you love or a past family tradition that you remember growing up with, that you remember fondly? Oh, one thing that, and I'll, 
just just popped in my head, so this is probably the one I have to go with, is we have, um, we go up north over into Michigan to the cottage, we have a cottage, uh, family cottage, so it's more than us. And um, Alan's family, Alan, and now our children, and now our grandchildren, we measure every year when we're on, when we're up at the cottage, we measure how tall they are and they're marked on like, you know, the, a door jam. And so, you know, there's one with all of Alan's family in this and the, my first time going up after we were married, you know, I'm on there now. So that's a really fun, it's a real, the, the, our kids, their friends, everybody, when they got up, they're like, oh, that's so great. Yes. So that's a fun family tradition. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um, name one of your favorite desserts. Oh, Kentucky Derby pie. Oh, what is that? That's that a is a pecan pie Ooh. with chocolate chips and bourbon oh. in it. And of course, you either put ice cream on it or whipped cream. And it's very rich and it's to die for. Oh, you had me a pecan <laughs> pie. That's, that's my favorite. Uh, name a friend of yours who lives in a different country and talk about one of your favorite things about them. Oh gosh, there, oh, I hope I don't hurt my feeling. So Umberto is, is a man that we met in Peru okay. when we were on a mission trip in 2014 and um, did not speak any English. And he and I connected immediately and probably because he was younger and, you know, pretty much I would be mom's age kind of thing. Okay. But he was such a man of God. And he was so kind and he was so gentle with everyone and his patience, just such a gift to all of us. And then by the end of our week, you know, because we, we could read each other's eyes, you know, <laughs> but you know, he would go like this and they would kiss and then put his, his hand on his heart. Aww. So that has been our, that has been our symbol. And when his mom was, I knew that his mom was in the process of dying and the pastor from Peru sent me a message. Do you know that Umberto's mom is dying? And yes, I did. I told him that. And so we were in communication and we still are in communication. Um, so we were with each other when his mom died. And then when my mom died a few years ago, I was with him. Oh. So, and if you look on my Facebook <laughs> cover picture, I'm, I have my arm around Umberto. That's my cover picture is in, is the one from Peru Aww. on Facebook. So if you want to see who that is, that's who that is. I'll take a peek. Um, what is one of your favorite ways to pray? Oh, wow. I know there's another one. Like you probably like, have like 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I have to say, I really love to sing. So that's, like you know, church. I like yeah. to sing with you in church because I like to sing with you. <laughs> so singing is one of my favorite ways to pray um, for a lot of reasons. You know, whether I can sing alone or I can sing with a lot of people. And so if I just am out and about and I'm humming a song, then it's great. You know, and then I also, I do like the solitude. I, you know, I do like praying alone, you know. So okay. I do too. Okay. Um, where was the first city that you ever lived when you moved out of your house? Like your whole, your growing up house. My growing up home. Yes. Um, I moved to Rolla, Missouri when, and Alan was in, uh, was back in college. And so when we got married, we went and he had one more year or year and a half of, of college left second time around and he was working on becoming a metallurgical engineer. So that was, it's a, it's a very small town in Missouri. Wow. And cool. that's where he went to school. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. All right. What is something that you did for fun? Oh, oh. it's our timer. <laughs> okay, I'll finish the song. I mean, I'll finish this song. I'll finish this question. What is something you did for fun when you were growing up as a little girl? As a little girl? Yeah. As, as little, little. Okay. Um, we rode our bikes everywhere. Oh, cool. 
So we did that. We made up uh, a secret language. Come on. Yeah, we made my girlfriends and I in our neighborhood, we had a secret language. And so we could communicate where no one else could understand us. And it was so fun and it was so frustrating for our siblings. <laughs> Which is for awesome. several. Because that's what awesome. we live for, right? To like really yeah. aggravate our siblings. You know, I was the oldest. I like to aggravate sometimes. <laughs> so, and I also was a very good protector, you know, of them. But at the same time, you know, you just got to do a few things every once in a while. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to keep them in line. Let them know who's yeah. boss. Who's, who's and climb boss. trees. I loved climb trees. Oh, wow. Very I love to fly kites. Oh. We did a lot of kite flying and swimming. We did a lot of swimming in the river. Oh, very nice. Well, yeah. we, we, <laughs> we had a couple more questions, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, how about this? Can we leave with this one? Okay. How, what is an experience that happened in your life that you would consider a miracle? When I was, I think I was in sixth grade and the Ohio River, we just had massive flooding and our house, they told us we needed to evacuate. And so we evacuated our house. We went to my grandmother's house my dad and my mother's brother and a few other people. We had a boat, a little, just a, you know, ski boat. Yeah. And um, I can, rem we, we went in, at my grandmother's house and we all, I'm, I'm sure there's even a picture of it somewhere. We prayed a, a rosary together while my dad and my, my dad's, my mother's brother and a few other people were out trying to get something so that like get a pump for the basement to pump water out as it came in oh because it, the water was all around our house oh my goodness. Um, or was going to, you know, or was coming up. So they went to a store and they couldn't get an electric pump because they were all gone. They had sold them all and they got some other kind of what a pump and there's, and we said we were praying the rosary and then we found out that they turned off all the electricity in our area. Oh my gosh. And so my, our house was the only house that didn't get water, like maybe a little bit of water in yeah. and, but it didn't get flooded. Our house didn't get flooded. Wow. My dad rode a boat, our boat around the house. That's how much water there was in our neighborhood. Furniture was floating in people's basements. Oh. Um, but for me as you know, as a child in fifth or sixth grade, that's, I think about what it was. I really thought and believed in the power of prayer. Yeah. So for me, that also was very foundational for me as I grew up and became an adult and you have many trials and challenges. And even though it may not turn out like you maybe want it to turn out, you find strength in prayer. And so that has been very solid for me all of my life. I've been really lucky. My mom said, you are one person when you have a door that closes on you, God make sure there's a window open. And that's what, you know, that's, you know, and you just have to find the window. Right, right. You know. Well, what? <laughs> that is our game. How exciting that was. <laughs> well, thank you. I loved it. Thanks for asking me all of these. Yeah, that was nice. It makes me think, oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and it also helps us, you know, like when you say something, then it reminds me of, you know, my life and like all of those things that, you know, we just kind of, you know, it's just nice to take a step back and, and get to know someone better too. Because some Absolutely. of those things, so my definitely. bird is walking. You can hear oh, yeah. <laughs> is it, oh, that's right. It's your bird. <laughs> yes. That's well, so fun. Well, I have to say you can choose not to use it, but you, sir, you may, you have earned the esteemed prize, I don't know how esteemed it is, um, to ask, you may, if you have a question, we can, we, you can ask me a question. What is your favorite song? Ooh. What song Ooh. speaks to you? I know, see, it's not an easy one that you ask on that, and yet it's really great. And again, it could be just like at this time, it doesn't mean just like you did with me. It's, but that would be, you know, hmm. I've, 
I've been playing piano a lot at night lately, just to, you know, just to kind of relax and, 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 uh, um, right now, mm -hmm. I think, um, the Matt Maher, Lord, I need you. Lord, I, oh, need I love you. that song. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, that just, yeah. oh, every hour, every mm -hmm. day, I need you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, that's where I'm yeah. finding myself. That's the first one that comes to my mind. So mm -hmm. that's what I'll say. If I think longer then I'll have 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. That's probably <laughs> the one that's most, most uh, resonating with me right now. And, yeah. and really part of my prayer life too, because I use it too mm -hmm. to, to pray. So, right. That one is one that when I, when about three or four weeks ago, that was, that was my daily all day, all night song. Yeah. That one was. Yeah. It just it's is, absolutely says everything. Right. Right. And it's yeah. that kind of that reminder, that beseeching of, oh, wanting, mm -hmm. wanting God near, near you. I need to feel you. I need to. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I know you're close by. I know you're there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for asking cool. me. That. That's a, that's well, thank you for sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is all the time thank we have. For this well, movie. it was <laughs> delightful. <laughs> I agree. But this is so. This is a good time, you know. Just, to, just to me. It is. It's fun. wonderful. And have a good thanks for doing it. So, thank you once again for being part of episode two. Of episode <laughs> two. <laughs> Well, thanks for having me. Oh, you bet, Mickey. You bet. So um, thanks, everybody, for joining us. And mm -hmm. uh, if you have any questions for, for Mickey, maybe when this video gets posted, you can, you can ask her a question. I'm not saying she'll answer, but you can ask. But you never know. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. It's just we're living on the edge here. That's right. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Oh, thanks. Mickey. Really appreciate it. It's All right. Good. We'll see you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye. God Bye -bye. bless. Bye -bye. <laughs>